Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another speed build video. Today we'll be building a New Orleans style townhouse inspired by many of the builds that are already in Willow Creek as I have only recently found out that uh, Willow Creek itself is all based on New Orleans what I imagine are the suburbs of New Orleans, of course. And full disclosure, the idea actually came to me once I got the paranormal stuff back and I was playing with the Duplantier dwelling that was built by Dr. Ashley. So shout out to Dr. Ashley. Not actually, but Dr. Ashley, uh, which, as I recall, if I recall correctly, in the description of the build, she actually put hashtag New Orleans. And that was something that made me look up other builds about New Orleans and going after the architecture of New Orleans in general. And to ultimately led me to rebuild the whole of Willow Creek not by myself but mostly with uh, builds from the gallery actually with all builds from the gallery and this is the only one that I built myself to put on my remodeled redesigned revamped whatever you want to call it Willow Creek version which is heavily inspired by New Orleans architecture and when it comes to the architecture of New Orleans there are many different periods apparently there is a bit of Victorian influence a, a, a bit of all sorts of styles that mixed up together for the throughout the centuries you know to and of course I'm no expert on, expert on the topic but that's just what I found out by quickly researching New Orleans architecture on Google. And I came across these townhouse styles, you know, which really appealed to me, which I really liked. And even though they are somewhat simple, essentially the whole house is just a big box. Uh, I think they are pretty nice and I think they're pretty cute you know when I decided to use more of the newer packs to give it a really New Orleans vibe because I kind of fell in love with the architecture and the overall aesthetic of the place I really enjoyed it and I wanted to make something that resembled that strongly and this is one of the um, the residential lots one of the smaller ones in willow creek uh 20 by 15 tile lot which i built as a residential one but i'm probably going to be using it as a rental you know to actually use willow creek because having the other packs i didn't have any sins living there whatsoever I completely ignored that neighborhood. I never even visited it. Well, to be honest, I only visited it with my Sims to go to the hidden lot, which uh, the Sylvan Glades lot, which you have to go to Willow Creek to get in there. And so I started redoing the whole neighborhood to be more fun to play in it and have more interesting lots. And I've it took me a while it took me like two days to find the right buildings and the right lots and everything and really give it the you know the aesthetic that I wanted but after I finished it I was pretty happy with it and I think that Willow Creek now is much more enjoyable to play with and this is uh, one of the builds that I, the, the only build, like I said, the only build that I did myself for this new version of Willow Creek. And I built it not originally with the intention of using it as a rental, but that's eventually what I'm using it for right now in my gameplay. 
but that was as I move forward with the build it kind of gave off these grandparents home I think I use some more of the classical furniture more oldie style not so much of the modern stuff and also that for the wallpapers and the floors and there's of course the rocking chairs that I'm gonna put in later when I'm furnishing it and so it has a very much grandparents home uh, house to it so if you want to use it for your elderly sims I think it's also gonna be pretty adequate for that purpose and I don't know if that has been a regular trend on the gallery but I have actually been seeing a lot of New Orleans builds uh, or tagged as New Orleans in the hashtags or with New Orleans in their name coming up in the gallery so I think it might be that a lot of people are actually going back to Willow Creek because of the paranormal pack or I don't know if there's for some reason there's a New Orleans architecture revival because of the new pack or whatever it is or maybe I'm just stupid and missed it all these years but that's what it is <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of those and I've been enjoying it you know because it gives me a lot of options to put stuff in my new version of Willow Creek and as you can see here the color palette that I decided to use was white and these blue what we call baby blue in Portuguese I don't know how you would call it in, in English to be honest so let's just go with baby blue okay and I think it's a very soft palette you know it's supposed to be a cozy comfortable house for a couple of elderly sims with a, a guest room for their grandchildren to come around eventually and visit them so there isn't uh, of course I wouldn't go for very dark or very aggressive colors you know I, I wanted to have like a cute grandma and grandpa or grandpa and grandpa or grandma and grandma however you play it and in my case it would be grandpa and grandpa because essentially all of my male sims in my game they're queer <laughs> you know most of them are either gay or bisexual you know so I almost never play with straight sims you know that's just in my fantasy everybody's queer okay so well but that doesn't have anything to do with the colors you know that <laughs> it just has to do with well however you want to however household or family you want to put in there if you download the lot and play with it and I did go for some red curtains you know just to deviate a bit from the whole white and blue thing you know to give it a bit of diversity and to make the whole thing a little bit more interesting because if you use the same two colors all the time it gets a bit boring and a bit repetitive so I try to make it more colorful myself when I'm decorating my place I really go for well not that my place has an outstanding decor or anything but I usually go for color I like to have paintings and curtains and carpets and so on with a bit of personality so that I usually go for bold strong colors when decorating which can be problematic now as uh, it turns out I'm not super happy with these red curtains but of course you can change them if you think they 
are just too different where they don't match the overall place and now most of the living room and the kitchen are done and I'm just putting the finishing touches in it before I move upstairs to do the bedrooms and uh, the study and so on so as you can see it's a, it's a small house I have been really drawn to smaller lots recently especially for those speed build videos because well they are easier to do you know and a huge house is much more likely to look empty or look not properly furnished than a small place so that's just what I'm that's what I'm going for you know smaller houses a big backyard you know so that, that makes the overhaul overall house even smaller so I don't have so many space to work with but also it means that I'm less likely to screw up <laughs> due to you know just making a place that is overall everything is just empty and there is really nothing in on the walls or as it comes to decor which is something that I leave for last usually and when I get to that point I'm a bit tired and I want to move forward with it and I want to finish the build <laughs> and well and also because it makes the videos shorter you know by building a smaller house with less stuff and less rooms and everything my one of my recent videos I built a huge lot on a 40 by 30 I built a Windenburg spellcaster school and it took me hours and hours to finish it and in the end even like with the speed up the speed build ended up being something like 45 minutes or so and the video got one view you know so that was a bit disappointing so if you're watching this and you don't have anything to do and you have 45 minutes free go to uh, the channel to the homepage of the channel and look for Windenburg spellcaster school speed build and watch that too you know you'll be helping us out so shout out to anybody or, or shout out to the person the only person who watched it which was my friend Bia, who actually gave me the idea of starting the YouTube channel because I was always, she plays the game as well and I'm always telling her about the things I'm doing in my gameplay and how I put like Nicki Minaj on a spellcaster duo against Beyonce or something like that <laughs> and she found it hilarious and she said I had to start a channel so she's the reason I'm making these videos now and I'm really glad she she gave me the idea because I'm having a lot of fun doing it even though I'm not making any money <laughs> well not yet at least I still hope that in a few years this channel will be popping will be super popular I'll have millions of followers and cashing that money okay but for the moment I'm just doing it exclusively for the fun of it no profits whatsoever so coming back to the actual build I have more or less finished the main bedroom. It has an ensuite bathroom for the couple that lives there. And now I'm doing the study again. As I said before, I'm going for a more old school furniture and I put the um, knitting desk because I thought it would be fun to have somebody in the house needing things for their grandchildren or whatever or just to sell it on Plopsy 
and now I'm doing the guest bedroom which is really small it also has an ensuite bathroom and the shape I ended up with wasn't ideal because I didn't I couldn't really put a lot of stuff in it because the space just with two bags a dresser and the door to the bathroom there wasn't much free space there to put a lot of other stuff but I don't like when the places are too cluttered or with just too m much furniture because it usually seems already have a difficult time moving around as it is so I try to make it easy for them so <laughs> they can actually get around with no issues and once that's done moving forward to the backyard and the landscaping as well for the rest of the house and doing some roof stuff as always I'm not following any logical way of building I just go back and forth between rooms and between areas of the house and I went for this willow tree which is makes sense to have it there because it's Willow Creek after all but I really like that particular tree it's one of my favorites and I put it in almost every build that I do that there's space to it and I'm just making the backyard a nice cozy place for the sims to come and relax after after a long day of work or if they're feeling tense or stressed for the one million different reasons that they can feel tense and stress one of those reasons in this house won't be because it's haunted because this place is 100 percent not haunted i had enough of the haunted haunted houses already so this is just a regular residential lot with no specters or angry ghosts to bother you whatsoever but you can of course change it to that if you're into that thing you know I've had it with the spooky stuff uh, we have a video exploring that pack and that stuff which is called Nicki Minaj paranormal investigator so you can check that out if you want to learn more about the pack and we're almost done here thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week bye